Now, on the eve of the first televised debate in the US presidential election, Donald Trump has been dealing with a wave of new allegations about his tax affairs. New York Times says it has documents which show the president paid just $750 in federal income tax in 2016, the year in which he was elected president, and then the same amount again in 2017, his first year in the White House. He is said to have paid no income tax at all in 10 of the previous 15 years. President Trump said this was yet another example of fake news. Let's go live to Cleveland, Ohio, where tomorrow's debate will be held and join our North America editor, John Sokol. Hugh, in US presidential elections, there's a thing called the October Surprise, the event that comes out of the blue and upends things. Well, it's arrived a few days early. As well as the income tax disclosures, it seems, according to the New York Times, that Donald Trump has personal debts of $400 million. And as well as that, he wrote off against tax 70000 for the payment of hairdressers ahead of TV appearances. Will Joe Biden seek to take advantage of it? You bet he will. There's nothing quite like it. One-to-one -one combat, the red and blue corners, two fighters looking to land a knockout blow. And Donald Trump's taxes and what he did and didn't pay have opened up again as a line of attack. On the eve of this televised debate, his tax return is once again a burning issue. It's totally fake news, made up fake. Maybe he's not as rich as he says he is. Four years ago, Hillary Clinton thought she had him pinned down on this very topic. Or maybe he doesn't want the American people, all of you watching tonight, to know that he's paid nothing in federal taxes because the only years that anybody's ever seen were a couple of years when he had to turn them over to state authorities when he was trying to get a casino license and they showed he didn't pay any federal income tax. So that makes if me he's smart. paid zero... And when you're in the ring... Do you stay cool under pressure or do you start to sweat under the lights? Back in 1960, John F. Kennedy was expected to take a pounding from Richard Nixon. Instead, JFK was unfazed and it was Nixon who ended up on the ropes. When you're in a race, the only way to stay ahead is to move ahead. Boxing is governed by the Queensbury rules. No punching below the belt, no holding, break when I say break. But for the past four years, Donald Trump has played by no rule book. It's just awfully good that someone with the temperament of Donald Trump is not in charge of the law in our country. Yeah, because you'd be in jail. Secretary Clinton. <laughs> Look at how he followed Hillary Clinton around the room, almost stalking her. But here's what I don't want people Donald Trump to revels in the image of prize fighter. He controversially tweeted this mock video of him beating up a critical news network. It's just got worse with this gentleman. I use the, word, the, the term really loosely. Joe Biden at the start of this year oh, looked as though his best days were behind him. But his corner are confident and bullish. He will go the distance. The two people who will be lacing up their gloves on Tuesday have a combined age of 151 years. Probably neither will float like a butterfly nor sting like a bee. But it's likely to be brutal and compelling. John Sopel, BBC News, Cleveland, Ohio.